Hello, Verbling. Good morning. We're doing a class on Mad Libs this morning, which is a super fun game, and I'm really excited. Hi, Lena. How are you? Hi, Michaela. How are you? I'm doing very well. What time is it for you, Lena? Uh, 11 a.m. in the morning. Oh. Perfect. That's an excellent time. Yes, and, and you, what, is, uh, what time is it? For me, it's actually 2 a.m. Not exactly a perfect time, but a good time. Oh, my God. <laughs> 2 a.m. Yeah, but every time is a good time for English. <laughs> right. <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we'll just wait a couple minutes for other students to join and then we'll get started. It looks like people are already coming in. Hi, Andrew, how are you? Oh, bye, Andrew. Anne, are you there or is it Roman this time? Yes, hello, this is Roman. Aha! Hi, Roman. Hi, Roman. Hi. How are you? How are, how are you? you? <laughs> I'm great, thank you. <laughs> Good. What time is what it, time for, is you, it for you, Roman? Uh, it's uh, 12 uh, p.m. in my country. Awesome. So awesome. you're just so one hour one different hour than Lena. Than Lena. <laughs> mm -hmm. Does anybody have two Verbling pages open? Oh, never mind. No. There was an echo for a few minutes, but now I don't hear it. So, yay, those echoes drive me crazy. Andrew, you're back. Yeah, I'm back. Hello, Mika. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. You? I'm doing very well. Nice. Um, Zwaran, hello. Welcome back to class. Mm -hmm. mm, thank you. Nice to see you again. How are you today? Mm, you know, mm, uh, I'm, I'm fine. Uh, your your class time is not very fit for me, so today's time is suitable. I'm happy to see you. <laughs> Perfect, yeah. Sometimes I do classes at weird hours for me, but it's good hours for other people around the world. So you guys, for all of you, it's a very normal time. For me, it's 2 a.m., which is a little crazy, but that's okay with me. And... Uh, Hugo. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. How are you, Hugo? I'm not bad. What time is it for you? It is 11 o'clock, exactly. 11 o'clock a.m. or p.m.? Uh, p.m. is for uh, night. Uh-huh. Uh, so I am. A.m. Okay. Good. Good I timing. From, I am from Malaga. Where's Malaga? Where's that? Yeah, Spain, the ah. south of Spain. Awesome. Well, welcome to class. Glad Thank to have you. a Spaniard in class today. Okay. <laughs> Samir, welcome back to class. How are you, Samir? Hi. Hi. How are you, Michelle? I'm doing very well. What time is it for you, Samir? Uh, it is. Uh, 12 p.m. 12 p.m. Awesome. Okay. Um, so, does anybody here already know what a Mad Lib is? A Mad Lib? I'll write it in the chat box in case you don't know how it's spelled. It's spelled like this Mad Lib. Mad Lib? No. no. It's a game that is common in the US. I'm not sure about uh, other countries, but it's common in the US. And it's really fun, I think, because what you get to do is you take a sentence and there's a blank and you can fill the blank 
with any word you want, but it has to be the correct part of speech. The correct part of speech. Okay. What is a part of speech? What What's an example? Noun. Verb, Adjective. noun. Uh huh. Verb, noun. What else? Mm -hmm. Adjective. Adjective. Preposition. Preposition. Exactly. Okay, so I'm going to name a part of speech, and I'm going to ask you guys to give me examples. So we'll do this quickly. I'm going to go from left to right. First okay. part of speech, I'm going to ask for nouns. Give me two nouns, starting with Andrew. Uh, no, for example, a bird, an Perfect. animal, a table. Everything. Excellent. Thank you. Roman, two nouns. Or is it too easy? Computer, to uh, handphone. Excellent. Thank you. Hugo, give me two adjectives. Oh, pretty, awesome. Awesome. Thanks. Lena, two adjectives. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Friendly. Great. Thank you. Um, Samir, give me two verbs. Uh, play, drink. Thank you. Zwaran, give me two verbs. Uh, make, sleep. Thank you. Okay, now I'm going to go back the other way. And I have some more difficult parts of speech, or I think they're more difficult. Um, Zwaran, give me two adverbs. Two adverbs. Uh, wisely, quickly. Thank you. Samir, two adverbs. Uh, uh, what? Hmm? Slightly, slightly. Okay. Uh, perfectly. All right. Thank you. Lena, give me two prepositions. For, uh, uh, until. Perfect. Hugo, two prepositions. Uh, uh, until and for. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Roman, two conjunctions. Do you know what a conjunction is? Yes. Okay. And uh, also. Thank you. And um, Andrew, two conjunctions. I know what conjunction mood is. It's conjunction, as Roman said, it's it's part of speech, right? Mm -hmm. It's a part of speech that connects two sentences. So the example that Roman gave, one of them was and. Okay, that's possibly a part of speech. What else is, or a po possibly a conjunction. What else is a conjunction? Neither, either. Yeah, those are conjunctions. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you have you have the right idea. Those are conjunctions. The most okay. common conjunctions are things like but or and um, so is a conjunction. However. However is a conjunction. Perfect. Okay. Those are all conjunctions. All right. So we're going to use those to complete a Mad Lib today. Does everyone have the notes open? Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Yes, yes. So the first thing uh, is a little Mad Lib. And I did one small one just for practice so we can get the feel. And then we're going to complete a much larger Mad Lib that is a story. So we'll start. Um, I'm going to read it through first and then have you guys each complete one line of it. So there was a young blank named Mallory, 
who drew but a very blank salary when blank went to the show his purse made him go to a blank in the uppermost gallery so this one happens to be kind of a cute rhyming mad lib and any place you see the lines and then a part of speech you have to add that part of speech to the sentence so you can think of any noun you want any adjective you want any pronoun you want now the reason this is fun is because you can kind of like make a game of it you can make crazy sentences so you know in for the noun you could say banana so then the sentence ends up being there was a young banana named Mallory which is kind of funny right so that's why it's a game and you can think of just funny funny words to go in the blanks but some of them you don't really have that much of a choice for instance pronoun do you guys know can you guys think of pronouns what's a pronoun mm, I he she exactly so those are <laughs> not as much fun because you really can't play with those you kind of have to put in the correct one um, but Anyways, I think it will be very fun, and I love Mad Libs. I have always loved Mad Libs. It's a good, it's a good thinking game and a fun game. So um, the first line of that poem, I'm going to ask Andrew to complete. Yeah. Good. I wonder, uh, Mallory, is it a male or female name? It can be anything you want, because in the third line... We have to have a pronoun, but the pronoun is open. So if you want to make it a male or a female, then that's totally fine. Okay. There was a young man named Mallory who drew, who drew but a very low salary. <laughs> when he went to, to the show, she first made him go to a... Made him go mm -hmm. to a blank in the uppermost gallery. So think of a noun. It could pretty much be any noun you want. Uppermost gallery? Mm hmm. So what will you put in place of the noun? To a blank in the uppermost gallery. What will you say there? I have no idea. You can say anything. Pick any pick any noun you can think of. Gee. Are you stuck? Yeah, but I, I think uh, it it has uh, it has to have the logical meaning. <laughs> well, it does. It does. Uh, it's good to have the logical meaning. You can make, since this is a small one, we can make it funny. So if you want to say um, the table, the bed, the floor, the you can say anything you want. But if you want to pick something that has a logical meaning, you probably would go with seat or chair or spot because the uppermost gallery um, a gallery generally is when you have a lot of chairs. So if you go to the theater, there are a lot of chairs set up for people who are watching. So you could okay. say to a chair in the uppermost gallery. That probably is the thing, the word that makes the most sense. But since this is a game, you can have fun with it too. So if you want to say um, to the monkey in the uppermost gallery, you can say monkey. You can say whatever you want. Okay. okay. <laughs> Roman, will you oh, did you have a did you have a no, word no. to put in there? No. All right. <laughs> let let it be a chair. As you said. <laughs> okay. Roman, would you like to complete the Mad Lib with different words? Yes. Okay, uh, so uh, one there was an elderly man, Chen Ma who lived with her only son inside a forest in the 
snarky oh. brewings. Oh, sorry, sorry. Um, would you complete the first Mad Lib? We're just going to each do one of the first Mad Lib before starting the story. Is that okay? Uh, uh, you, you want me to uh, um, complete again? Uh, I thought what, it would what? be... I thought it would be fun to have everybody do this first small Mad Lib ah, with their nice. own different words. So instead of instead of you making it uh, a man, you can make it something else, or you can make it a high salary, or anything you like. So change the words, but read the same short Mad Lib. Mm, no, maybe there was a young girl named Mallory who drove but a very high salary. When she went to the show, his purse ma made he uh, uh, made him. Or it can be. No, man. you can you can change it. You can change it. It's, so uh, her purse her, made her, her go. Sure, her purse made her go to a building uh, in the uppermost jewelry. Excellent. Uh, explain me, please. What does it mean, uppermost? Uppermost. Uh Uppermost means the highest. So the the highest row of chairs is the uppermost because it is the most up. I see. Thank you. All right. Hugo, would you like to complete that short Mad Lib with different words? Okay. There was a young potato named Mary <laughs> who drew but a very crazy salary. When when eat no, uh huh. Went to the show. His purse made him go to a mm, <laughs> unicorn <laughs> in the uppermost gallery. Is correct. Yes, all of that is correct, and okay. it's a little more. You know, it's a crazier one, but that's the fun of Mad Libs. You can make it anything Fantastic. you want. So perfect. Thank you, Lena. Your turn. <laughs> and there was an elderly woman named Mallory who drew at a very low, low salary. When she went to the show, his parts made her parts made made her go to a um, a theater in the upper most gallery. Awesome, thank you. Samir, your turn. Okay. I will put any word or. So just fill in the blanks with any word you want, but try to make them different than the other words students have used already. Okay. Uh, there was uh, a young donkey named Mallory who drew but a very uh, a very expensive salary when it went to the show his boss made him go to uh, a, a small in the upper most gallery what was the noun you used a what a, a small Small is in tiny, is in something yes, that's yes, yes. Well, tiny. Sm small is actually an adjective, so try a noun in that spot. Okay, uh, go, he, he, his first made him go to uh, table in the uppermost gallery. Perfect, thank you. And Zwaran, you're the last one. Come up with. Some creative words for our Mad Lib. Uh, there was a young mommy named uh, Mallory who drew but a very Asian salary. Uh, when he went to the show, his purse made him go to a pyramid in the uppermost gallery. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, guys. All right, so that one was short and it was fun. And now we have another much larger one. This one is, I think, fun also, but it's a little more serious. Um, so a lot of the blanks you'll see are not quite as fun as 
the ones in the, in the above. But we'll we'll start with this, and I think you guys will see how it's going to go. I'm going to start back with Andrew. Um, Andrew, will you do the first paragraph for us? Let's try. Once there was an elderly woman, Chen Ma, who lived with her only son inside a forest in, a, in the Shanghai province. Her son was one of the tiger hunters licensed by the rifle, following the same profession of his father. His share of the profits from, from the sale of tiger skin, skins, meat and buns was sufficient to keep the small mud hut well provisioned for, for himself and his and his mm, adjective love mother what was the adjective you used love no so you could say lovely lovely mother lovely, but it's not an adjective lovely yeah lovely actually is an adjective as, um, okay you can use it as an adjective or as an adverb i know it's confusing because it has ly mm -hmm. on it but mm -hmm. it is also an adjective. Okay, to, uh, for himself and his lovely mother. Mm -hmm. Excellent, thank you. Okay, thank you. so you did a great job of that. And um, do you guys have any questions on the vocabulary so far? Because some of the vocabulary in this story is a little unusual. And if you have any questions, be sure to ask. Yes, uh, the small mud. Mud hut. A mud, mud hut. hut. Uh -huh. Yes. What does anyone the... know? Does anyone know what a hut is already? Uh, no. Can you take a guess? Shelter. No. What? S uh, like shelter. Or... Mud hut. S shelter. Ma I'm not trying to understand. Uh, it's a small. Uh, it's like uh, a small house. Small. Yeah? A small house. Yes. Ah, yes. Okay. Exactly. It's like a, it's a small house, but a hut is usually something that's like not very well made. So it's not a house like you would see. Um, mm -hmm. It's not a nice house. It's probably kind of a small, dirty house. And of course, it's made of mud, right? So it's mm -hmm. not, it's probably very minimal and um, yeah, very basic house. Okay. Any other questions about vocabulary? What What is meaning of uh, keep the small mud hut well provisioned? Well I, I provisioned. Understand. Does anyone? Can anyone take a guess at what well provisioned means? Well provisioned. Provisioned. It means like foods, right? Everything they need. Yeah. A provision is something a uh, necessity. So if you have a provision, it means you have like, you're supplied, you have supplies for what you need. That usually for, means food. For sure, bigger. Food. Uh, oh, I see. Uh, it means uh, to provide something for mud heart, is that right? Exactly, yeah. But uh, uh, mud heart really need tiger skins and meat. Mud heart is a house. Mud hut is a house, so they're providing the tiger skins and meat for the people that live in the house. So the mother and the son, they're eating the tigers and they're using the skins for blankets and the bones might be for something else, but they're using the bodies of the tigers to provide for themselves, for food and that kind of thing. Does that make sense? Yeah, thank you. Okay. Um, uh, any... so what the, what the sufficient is? What do you guys think? Anyone know sufficient? Sufficient? Uh, su su sufficient, it means important. Uh, important, it, yeah? It, no, it it's means okay. enough. It means enough. The mm -hmm. best synonym here is enough. Something that is sufficient is um, ample, it's enough, it's it require it meets the requirements. So if I have sufficient food sorry, background noise. 
If I have sufficient food, it means I have enough food to last me for however long I need. It's the right amount. Okay. Any other questions on vocabulary? Okay. Then, Roman, will you do the next two paragraphs? Okay, I will try. <laughs> All was well until a particular cold winter. Uh, during a season, Chen Man San uh, was separated from his fellow hunters and became food for a uh, hungry tigers. After her, until shock and grief subside, Chen Ma took shock of her own uh, difficult difficult no no not difficult adverb difficult mm -hmm. difficulty yes thank you uh, a desperate situation an old uh, woman left uh, all alone she went and uh, and she went and uh, walked uh, the Maggie stretch to provide her with food for the loss of her son, who was her only source of support. The magistrate decreed that Hen Kefford, she would have a, a, a good share of profits from the kill of uh, each tiger by the hunters. Needless to say, uh, his uh, decision was not taken well by the hunters, who had plenty of months of their own feet, both uh, old and young. Okay, thank you. And I'm sorry, I couldn't hear the adverb you put in, in the in the um, first sentence of the second paragraph. What adverb did you use? Do you remember? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> I unmute myself. So okay. I said uh, difficulty. Okay. Uh, so difficultly, difficultly, desperate situation. That's what you said, right? Yes, yes. Okay, thank you. I just couldn't hear. All right. So, um, Excellent. Well, well, well done. <laughs> and does anyone have vocabulary questions from this section? There were some interesting words in this section. Mm. Uh, explain me, if, uh, uh, explain me, please. Grief uh, subside. Grief subsided. So w let's start with grief. Does anyone know what grief means? Mm -hmm. When does someone experience grief? No? Okay, yeah. so grief you experience after something tragic, after something just terrible happens. So it's like that feeling of just overwhelming sadness and it usually comes with the death of a loved one or um, maybe some other tragic event like if your dog was hit by a car or if your house burned down in a fire some tragic event happens and then grief is the emotion you experience afterwards what about subsided does anyone know that word or can guess what that word means subsided mm, fall, fall down yeah kind of yeah it's sort of like fall down anyone have a something else to add for the definition of subsided subsided is like well you can take it apart subsided so it kind of moves to the side so um her initial shock, initial meaning like first, so the first shock was subsided, means it, it moved away. The first shock moved away and she started to think of other things. Um, so they're just saying she experienced shock and grief, 
but that it doesn't last forever, right? So it was subsiding, it was going away, it was leaving. And you can take it apart if you, you know, subsided. It was moving to the side. Um, when she looked at her own desperate situation. Yes, for example, uh, subside the number of driver risky drivers, no? Yeah, you could say subsided. So if it if the number of drunk drivers are going down, you can say that it's subsiding, that the um, phenomenon is subsiding. Okay. Good example, thank you. Um, any other vocabulary questions from this section? Yes, please. Uh, hence, henceforth. <laughs> ah, henceforth. Let's start yes. with what part of speech is henceforth? Does anyone know? That. Maybe it's adverb. Um. Yeah, it can be an adverb. It's an it's an unusual adverb, isn't it? Fourth. It also be, could be considered a conjunction at times, but here adverb is good. And it just means like from now on, from this point forward. So okay. um, henceforth means from this moment and forevermore in the future. Okay, perfect. Awesome. Other vocabulary questions? Uh, Megastrate. Magistrate. Does anyone know what a magistrate is? I think it's a local authority. Yeah, it's a local authority of some kind. It's a very general term, so it's just any person that deals with this kind of matter. It's a local authority. That's excellent. Thank you. Other vocabulary? Mm, Experiment is uh, decreed. It's uh, something uh, magistrate agree? Agrees? Uh, oh, decreed. So, does anyone know that word, decree? To decree? Is like a rule? It is, yeah. So, he's setting a rule. It's not something optional. It's something that's an obligation. It's necessary. So, it's a very formal... Um, request I guess but it's like it's like a law he's decreeing it so it's a law that people have to follow uh -huh. it's an order of some kind order. other vocabulary um, one thing I would like to touch on is needless to say needless to say what does that mean it's necessary no huh I think so, that is necessary to say. Um, not exactly, because we have that that less in there. So need less, need oh. less. Without. It's against. There's, exactly. So there's no need to say it. Okay. It's um, not necessary to say that the hunters did not agree with the situation because the hunters are going to be losing their own profit so it's unnecessary to say that they they don't agree because it's so obvious that it doesn't need to be said okay, okay. all right um next paragraph i'm going to ask no more vocabulary right okay um Next paragraph, I'm going to ask Hugo. You didn't read one yet, have you? Okay. Uh, furthermore, when the hunters succeed in killing the tigers that hate, 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 eight, eight, she must song. They decide not to kill or kill. Hmm. What choose? To kill or kill? To kill. So to the infinitive kill. with the with, uh, two as well, yeah. Yes. Here, a share of the prophet. Instead, the brooch here, the tigers, the tigers, 
Newport Club. He was a mm, a cute, key very bad, cute, yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. key very bad of Golden for with Hubli, Les no. and. Sorry, continue. Okay, toothless gums. The rope they tied around his neck was so tight that it was practically shooking him. Instantly, she must hurt went out to this uh, curious creature was jade green eyes mm, and verb improve and progressive I don't know so um, his eyes you have to say an action his eyes can do so it has to be in a progressive so it has to be an ing word like walking or running but it has to be something his eyes can do and because there's two eyes I put in to remind you that it has to be plural mm -hmm. well I haven't got an idea does anyone else want to suggest a, a progressive verb for him No, no clues. Um, so, why don't we start with how do you form the progressive? Does anyone remember? It's also called continuous. Ah, okay, but present. Uh huh. So, present progressive. Yes. Or present continuous is the same exact thing. There's just okay. two different names for it. So does anyone? Oh, is, go for it. Is watching. Oh, I see. I'm sorry. You're right. You asked if it was present or if it was in the past. It's better to do in the past. Or was watching. We're watching because it's plural. But yes. So uh, jade green eyes were watching. That's excellent. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Well done. And vocabulary questions from that um, from that paragraph? Yes. Uh, in the first paragraph, uh, profit, profits. Mm -hmm. oh. What is the meaning? Uh, does anyone know what a profit is? It's the same as that income. Yeah, it is. It is like income. So profit is what you make extra. Like, for instance, if I um, spend one dollar to make something, make a chair, we'll say, and then I sell the chair for two dollars, my profit is one dollar because that's what I've made on top of what I put in. So it's like your income, it's what you've made, it's the money you've earned on top of something. Okay. It is like uh, the balance. Between the premium and the, the expenses mm -hmm. in the mm -hmm. company. Exactly. Any other vocabulary from this section? Yes, uh, quivery. Quivery, quivery. Quivery. So um, when you quiver, it's kind of like you're shaking like this. So. Um, if they're quivery, if it's a quivery cub, it means that he was like, he was small and like kind of shaking and maybe scared. Okay, uh, wobbly. Wobbly. Oh, yeah, that one wobbly. I wanted to go over the pronunciation also. It's wobbly. Wobbly is similar. Wobbly is something that's unstable. Unstable. So it it's not um, very secure and shakes and um, is not is just not stable. So like a a table that has one leg that doesn't work properly or is a little broken, it will be wobbly. So when you touch it, it kind of moves to one side, or it'll sh shake a little. Any other vocabulary questions? Uh, uh, rope. The rope. 
Rope? Rope. Does anyone know what rope is already? Rope? Rope. What do you use rope for? Mm. <coughs> if, for example, the rope is a... Mm, to, to, to tie something, it's just... Uh, Mm -hmm. To tie line. something? Yeah, it's like a cord or a line or um, it's like a string but thicker. It's a really strong string. Rope. So you use rope to tie something to a car or um, maybe to tie up a dog, yes, like a strong, a big strong dog. To climb. Sometimes people use it to climb. Mm -hmm. Yes. No, you uh, you tie a dog with a uh, chain. Chain. Hmm. Uh, the dog can uh, beat beat the rope. Yeah. Any other vocabulary questions? Creature. Huh? Oh, creature. Yes. Um, creature is actually a very general term. It's similar to animal, but it could be anything alive, basically. Usually it's something that um, has its own thought process. So usually we don't use creature to refer to plants, but you could use creature to refer to an elephant or a cockroach or a fly or um, a jellyfish anything you want. So anything that's alive and kind of moves on its own. Other vocabulary words? And um, creature could be a monster, no? Yes, it also could be a monster. Sometimes creature has kind of a negative meaning to it. So if you call something a creature, it's not necessarily a positive thing. It doesn't have to be a bad thing, but a lot of times it's kind of like an unknown thing, like a strange thing. If you call it creature, it's because maybe you don't know what it's called. Like if it's a dog, but it doesn't look like a dog, you might say, oh, what a weird creature, because you're not really sure what it is. Mm -hmm. um, how about cub? What's a cub? That's it's uh, children of animal. Uh, yeah, not any animal, but a lot of small animals are called cubs. So like uh, lion, baby lions are called cubs and baby bears are called cubs. Uh, puppy? Puppy, yeah. So puppy is the same but for dogs. So okay. we've got the adult dog and baby puppy. Adult tiger, baby, or I'm sorry, adult tiger and um, baby is cub, adult bear and baby is cub. What about for cat? What's the baby of cat? Anyone know? Uh, tiger. Kitty. Kitten or kitty. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Um, and what about gums? Toothless gums. What is, what's gums refer to? Gums. I think it's the, the sugar you uh, bite it. Sugar? Oh, so you're <laughs> talking you're talking about a type of gum, the not this type of gum, but gum. It's like a chewy, sugary candy, right? But this type of gum is actually part of your body. So oh. this this pink stuff that's above your teeth. That's gums. It's called gums. And um, if you don't have teeth, then all you have is gums. You yes. have only gums in your mouth if you have no teeth. Okay. Any other vocabulary questions before we move on? Uh, flash. 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 What's flash? flash. Anybody know? Flash? Meat. Meat. It's um, the meat usually after it's dead. Usually. So 
Uh, I have Flash too, but hopefully we're not going to call it Flesh because right now we call it Muscle. But after I'm dead, it would be Flesh. Okay, can we move on? Nothing else? Okay, Lena, I believe it's your turn to read. Will you do the next two? Okay. Um, after the hunters left, the tiger cub grouped towards Chenma was only with her. She bent down to see his ears and he let her choose uh, to his soft tongue. What preposition did you use? Two. Two is in T-O? Uh, no, through. Oh, through his soft tongue. Interesting. That's an interesting one. Um, it's not exactly incorrect, but I think there's a better one. Can anyone think of a better preposition to put there? This. Uh, huh? This his soft tongue. Probably the best one is with, but there are there are many that are possible. So many prepositions are possible, but I think the best one is with, like W I T H. Hmm. Okay. Thank you. Continue. Mm, the elderly woman looked at the tiger baby and cried. And they told me to bat you, to salt and smoke your flesh for my meat soft supply. Your skin will make uh, beautiful boots for my feet. Your bones are... Uh, Strongly for making tiger bone um, um, I don't know. <laughs> you could do say a type of food, tiger bone and then put a type of food there. Um, Strong. Hmm. Tiger bone what? Um, meat, for example? You yeah. could say tiger bone meat. That's kind of a strange one because we already talked about the meat. We said the flesh for the meat supply. But um, I was thinking more something like tiger bone sandwich or tiger bone soup or tiger bone oh, okay. juice, or something like that. But you can put anything you want there. It's really open. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, tiger bone soup mm -hmm. <laughs> to ease the pain in my joints. But, oh, how can I bear to kill you? You are so, so uh, beautiful and vital. Mm -hmm. While I am so uh, um, sad in phrase. Awesome. Thank you. All right. Uh, vocabulary questions from this section? Any vocabulary questions? Ease to ease. Ease. To ease the pain. Yeah, to ease the pain. So ease is the verb of easy. Okay. So to ease the pain means to lessen or to make something easier. Mm -hmm. So there's, you know, less pain. Other vocabulary words? Um, how about vital? What does vital mean? Live. Yeah, mm. alive, something that's very and alive. Ener and may maybe ener energetic. Energetic. Mm -hmm. That's an excellent synonym as well.
well. Other vocabulary questions? Uh, frail. Frail. Does anyone know that word already? No? Can you repeat, please? Frail, the word frail. The very last word of the paragraph. Oh. Frail. I, I think it means uh, it's Delicate. easy to be broken too. Yes, exactly. Something that's easily broken or not very strong. Something that's weak. Wow. Okay. Can we continue? Is there any other questions? Okay, Samir, your turn. Will you do the next two paragraphs? Uh, yes, but I don't know where the last leader stop, stopped. Okay, uh, the last stopped at the word frail, so the last line was while I'm so blank and frail. I think the word was sad. I'm so sad and frail. So the next line will be, and so Chen Ma untied the rope. Uh, and so Chen Ma uh, untied the rope from the uh, big tiger's neck and feed him a pa pasta uh, and cooked, cooked uh, rot, uh, rots with her fingers. His son had a good supply of um, So say a type of food. Type of food? Yeah. So, Good supply of salad. Perfect. And rods in the attached sheet, and she planned to stretch the food out uh, to last. Here we probably need a time phrase, so you could make a choice from things like to last the winter, to last the year, to last the summer, to last forever, to last till Thursday. To last a week. Awesome. Continue. When the star of the fire wood was running low, Chinma was unable to keep her body warm, so she was Curling against the baby tigers, tiger, whose uh, whose uh, pretty pretty fur was cozy and uh, and. Lovely. Excellent. Thank you. Vocabulary questions quickly? Um, rots. Rots. What? Uh, rots. Roots? Roots? Roots. Roots are the part of a plant that grows underneath the ground. So they're um, they're like long strings that come off the bottom of a plant and to drink the water from the soil. And roots that you can eat are things like potatoes, uh, radishes, beets, and I guess that's it. Carrots are roots as well. Other vocabulary questions? What about cozy? Cozy. Yeah. Excellent. Any other vocabulary questions? Okay. 
then we will move on to Zoran. Will you read the next two paragraphs? Okay. Hmm. Once I was so often, uh, women from nearby villages would bring needleworks for Chama to do. She was very handy with a uh, uh, salary. They paid her for her labor with dried invention uh, and small sacks of uh, food. At first, they didn't find the little tiger's presence alarming. He was no. He he was no bigger than a piglet. However, when uh, when the next year came, he had grown into the size of a uh, a cow, showing a full set of teeth and uh, uh, paws. They um, they finally finally told the hunters, and the man came. Uh, to kill the young tiger. One more little paragraph there. It's a short one. Uh, okay, Chen Ma armed uh, herself with her son's hunting spear, and uh, threatened uh, uh, to uh, pro um, to provide anyone who dared to harm her. Uh, poor pet. Awesome. Thank you. Well done. And I'm sorry, I couldn't hear what you said for the progressive activity. It was the second blank you had. What word did you put in there? Uh, you mean she was very handy with... Uh... No, I mean um, the nearby villages would bring... The... Uh, the... Uh, I said needlework. Uh, oh, it, it, uh, that's, yeah, needlework. that's okay. So it's um, that is an activity, but it's also a noun. So here we need something that has the ing. So you could say sewing, or um, washing. Washing exactly. But you you did a very good job of filling in the blanks with like good activities. You, you know, and, it's a Chinese story. I have read it. Uh, I remember. No way. Uh, do oh Do you want God. to know the end of the story? Yeah, go ahead and ruin the ending for us. Uh, the tiger. Uh, when the old woman uh get more older, the tiger uh catch an animal for her and uh, feed her, and uh, pro uh, finally mm, the tiger protect protected the. Uh, uh, the old woman from wo uh, wolves or some other wild animals, and uh, they and they died. And finally, uh, the hunters uh, may make a building for the tiger. Uh, oh may wow! May make a temple and so on. I, I remember so. <laughs> Very cute story. Thank you for for finishing it for us because we don't have time in class to read more oh, yeah, but I, I hope so. you guys enjoyed the Mad Lib and uh, I have to end this class so I can start my next but thank you guys so much for participating and if you have any questions make sure to contact me on Facebook I think you all already have my Facebook but just in case right. you don't I'll put it in the chat box and, um, thanks guys bye Bye. Bye bye. 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 Good night. Good night. <laughs>